Hi, Roy students and teachers. Today I'm going to touch an important subject that I touched before as a position of the larynx. I always emphasized in my previous programs that position of the larynx is very important. And in classical singing, it should be a lower position of the larynx, so-called yawning position. I've talked about this in my previous programs. Today, I'm going to give you an advice how to avoid dangers of the low larynx. And what are the dangers of the low larynx? Let me just repeat what I said in my previous programs about the importance of the lowering your larynx while singing classical music. Lowered larynx is a must, and you saw this in the quotes that I gave you. These quotes can go uh, endlessly. Uh, I didn't give you Pavarotti quote, I didn't give you Caruso's quote. There are many, many quotes supporting the position of the larynx as a yawned and lowered position. And uh, we, uh, I'm not going to go deeper into this because I touched this subject in my previous programs. I'm just reminding you also importance not only of the low larynx position but the importance of the stable larynx position. And the stable larynx position uh, is very important for those who want to pursue one register singing because that position, that single position, provides you with consistent ambience and the consistent ambience will provide you with consistent sound. Why low position? Low position acoustically gives you more space in the throat. And stable position of the larynx is consistency. It's very logical also. If you sing in, one, in only one place, you have a consistent sound. But if you move and you sing in a different place, you will have a different sound. So the position, the stable position of the larynx is providing you with consistency, color, a timbre, and a power. In spite of the scientific evidence that the lower position of the larynx is a must for classical singers and the stable position of the larynx is a must for those who want to sing with one register, with one beautiful timbre, uh, some teachers avoid lowering the larynx. And let me explain you maybe the reason why they're avoiding it. And let me give you a solution because it's an important. I'm going to demonstrate this also. Uh, later in this program, uh, how to lower your larynx and how to make a great sound. You see, when you lowering your larynx, you only creating a possibility of a bigger and darker sound. Only possibility, because you just created a space. There's no sound yet. So, when you start, start singing, uh, majority of you who are not get used to this lower position of the larynx may feel that their voice is not projective enough uh, because their voice may be sounding like, like a woofy one. And that's very true because the only lowering your larynx is not enough to produce chiaro scuro sound, to produce the sound with enough squillo and enough darkness in it. You need a particular support. You need to adjust support to this lower larynx because this position, the position that you supported before with a little bit higher larynx position and support is not going to work fully when you lower your larynx. You, then you need a deeper support. It's very simple analogically. Lowering your larynx feels like lowering your breath or singing on a very low breath. So let's now move to practical things. I'm going to show you. I hope the camera will catch the, the difference between the sounds, but I'm not sure it will be so obvious. Nevertheless, I will try to give you the, uh, uh, the examples of the lowered larynx when it sounds wrong and examples of the lower larynx when it sounds right. And the, all of this is a cause of support. So don't be so naive thinking if you lower your larynx, everything else is going to be just, you know, chiaroscuro and one register singing, you become a, a great singer overnight. 
you need to study this position of the low larynx and you need to correspond with your support otherwise uh, you may end up uh, singing uh, with a low larynx position but with a woofy voice which is not very healthy and not very uh, beautiful for acoustic singing so let's move to uh, practical uh, suggestions and practical sounds let us see and hear the different larynx position in context of Arlequin's Serenade O Colombina and let's say the first phrase I will sing more lyrically meaning that my larynx will be in a lower position but a relatively higher position more in a lyric tenor position let's start with the uh, lower position of the larynx singing the same phrase but let's say without proper support Though it sounds much better in a microphone, in the camera right now, uh, the sound that will not carry in an opera house. Because it's woofy enough. It will only carry if you have a mic then you will sound like a caruso, maybe. Uh, but uh, th th it's not enough squillante in a voice to sing that way. Now, let me show you the other way, uh, let's say with the same low larynx, but different support. So, uh, changing it all together. Now, let's not confuse with the style. The style, of course, is lyric, and what I'm going to demonstrate is not going to suit the style but it's going to suit the sound and so let's do it again this number three low larynx but proper support this is the sound of chiaroscuro in a more dramatic version so you see that, that there is a uh, transitive way to go there. If you're singing with a high larynx position, you sing more lyrically, you sound more like a lyric tenor or high tenor. But if you sing with a low position of the, of the larynx, then you sound like Italian tenor. Because there is, there is one specific thing about Italian tenors. Regardless to where they belong, uh, dramatic, uh, lyric, lyrico spinto, leggero, they always try to keep a chiaroscuro element. And that's its distinctive difference between Italian tenors and non-Italian tenors, regardless to the nation or nationalities. Chiaroscuro is always present with Italian tenors, while in non-Italian tenors... I'll, I'll give you a separate demonstration of the sound, if you like. A uh, higher position. You see the difference? There's a camera, unfortunately, doesn't catch the difference that much, but the sound is at least three times bigger and it's projective also. But it requires a certain support. So, um, those who just follow the low larynx position and believe in that this is going to work. Please take a consideration of a necessity of support for this position. Because if you don't support the low larynx position uh, sound uh, with, uh, with proper appoggio, you may end up singing woofily. And then you need a mic. Bye. Until next time, Franco Tanelli. <laughs>